hey everyone, Steve Ether Foster here. Um, if you can see, I'm still on Windows. Um, thing is though, um, I had a 500 gigabyte hard drive in here. Um, which, you know, was cool. I had 500 gig, but this, as you can see, I got to, to well, 320 gig, but 297. Um, the reason being is for some like, whoever owned this laptop before me put the wrong, wrong, um, hard drive into it. Um, and it was pretty much working overtime when it didn't need to. It would idle with, I mean, it would idle, but it would peak up, the idle would peak up very high. Um, Especially just doing this. Um, now the thing with my other one, it was a 500 gigabyte, um, 3.0 gigabyte per second hard drive and SATA. And, um, yeah, like I said, I was having, I was having problems with it, um, all the time, no matter what it was. But here with this one, 320 gig regular SATA, it's not a, um, sorry, I can't stand, um, things saying new program. Um, but, I mean, it was just annoying, um, that every time I tried to do something, I guess there was a virus or something that got into it. Um, it started affecting it really badly. I'm still running horribly slow. Um, everything I did, you know, I, um, I did this defragment on it. Um, could not bring back the data at all. Um, and I'm just gonna run and see, I'm gonna install CC Cleaner while I'm doing this video. But, I mean, you know, it's... I'll review CC Cleaner as well for anyone who don't know what CC Cleaner is. It's an awesome program. Um, but, I mean, you know, since I was having that issue, um, with my 500 gigabyte SATA through SATA, um, 3.0 gigabyte per second hard drive. Um, I now, like I said, I don't have any, any errors. I got in a regular SATA hard drive. Um, 320 gig. That actually came from my PS3. My PS3 broke. So I figured instead of, you know, scrapping a perfectly good hard drive, why not just pop, why not just pop in my laptop, you know? Um, now I was using in a hard, in a, um, hard drive enclosure case, but, again, with a problem with my 500 gig, it, yeah, I don't know what happened, it just died, um, I guess that, um, from what I was reading, um, the computer on Amazon, um, I'll even show you if I can, if my computer will let me, because I am, um, screen recording, so sometimes it does go a little bit slow on the processor side of it, because the processor's not that, I mean, the processor's really not that good, it's only a 1 gigahertz, um, dual port. So yeah, um, okay. Again, sorry about the lag, I truly mean you guys, but it's only, like I said, it's only one gig of her dual core, so it's not the fastest computer in the world. But if I go to right here, the, um, XFU, you know, the, 
X55U. Um, you can see right here. Um, what's it? What was that? Um, here's the old version. Um, as you can see, when you code 320 gig, 5400 RPM. Um, somewhat, and it doesn't say anything about, um, the, um, you know, the SATA 3 gigabyte per second or anything like that. So, here I'm, I think that, um, this computer can only handle regular SATA and not the SATA 3.0 gigabyte per second that was in this computer when I got it. Um, so personally I think what it was is that somebody put in the wrong hard drive in this. Um, now right here is the CD, CC Corner recommends Google Chrome. Um, I would install Google Chrome, but whenever I watch YouTube, I don't know, I get like, like, lag in this. Um, again, it might be because of this processor, you know, it ain't the fastest processor in the world, but hey, it gets what I need, it does what I need, you know, um, my video for you guys, and you know, stuff like that, so, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not entirely bad, I mean, it's a good computer, I really like it, it's is an Asus X55U, the 1 gigahertz model. Um, right now I got it hooked up to my big 32 inch TV. Um, I discon I turned off the internal display, but I have, still have, I don't have, um, I didn't close the display, because obviously I need to use the microphone, because this computer only has two USB ports and they're being occupied by a keyboard and a mouse. Um, so. Yeah. Um, you know, this computer, no one needs a one gigahertz, like I said, you know, it does what I need to do and that's the main thing. I don't really gain that much. I mainly, I mainly go on YouTube. Um, as you can see, I watch Netflix, Hulu. Um, and you know it's great for that. I mean, it might not be the fastest computer in the world, but yeah, it's pretty darn fast. Um, I'm gonna pause this until this is done in song, and I'll get back to that. Okay, everyone, I am back. Um, as you can see, it installed. Um, I'm gonna run CC Corner right now, um, to show you guys. Um, again, if it's a little bit laggy, I am sorry. Um, you know, like I told you numerous times, it is the one gigahertz model, but hey, like I also told you numerous times, it gets what I need done. You know, and that's the main thing, you know, it's not, I mean, I used to be how I always wanted that fast computer, you know, I always wanted, you know, like, like, for example, my, um, my stepdad's computer that the motherboard just died in it, it was a, a custom built, hard, a custom built PC, it had, a Asus motherboard in it. It was an i5 second gen clock at 3.3 gigahertz, terabyte drive, a Nvidia GeForce GT 430 graphics card. You know, four gigs of um DDR3. You know, it was it was to shit. Um, but you know, the motherboard crapped out on it. So yeah, um, you know, so I had to get a lap, I had to get a laptop from Renaissance because that's what I'm currently running this from is Renaissance. But I mean, you know, 
I'm not really concerned about a 1 gigahertz type model. Um, like I said, it does what I want it to do. Um, you know, so I figure if a, if a computer does what you want it to do, why does it really matter? Um, now, while this is going, I want to talk about a few things um, with you guys. Um, I um, I know about Jeff Linux's, I mean, Je well, Jeff Turner, um, about, I, well, don't know, but I understand, you know, why he could use two personal things, and I understand that 100%, Jeff, I totally do. If you're watching this, I hope everything's fine with you and you, in your personal life and everything. Um, I can I can't really relate much, but I understand that you know personal life and this and personal life always wins over doing this, doing this, um, YouTube stuff, um, yeah, um, but anyway, um, what I mean I want to talk about is CC Planner. I told you guys how to talk about it. Basically, what CC Cleaner is, it's an awesome program that basically cleans your computer, basically. Um, um, like if you click here, it says Cleaner, and then you hit Analyze, like I did, this will, um, this will, it'll clean up your internet, um, explore temporary internet files, history, cookies, Recent type URLs, index dot dat, index dot dat files, last download location, under Windows Explorer, it'll include your recent documents, your run in start menu, other other Explorer stuff, thumb thumbnail cache, toolbar jump list. Under system, it will empty your safe limit, clean temporary files, clean the clipboard, clean memory dump, clean check disk file fragments, clean Windows log files. Um, now you can check all this other stuff, but you know, more stuff you check, longer it'll take. Um, and usually I don't need to check none of this stuff, usually just the standard, um, but I mean, you can go into applications, or clean your Windows Store, your applications, um, you know, multimedia, utilities, Windows, you know, it'll clean all that. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to pause this and let this finish scanning. I'll get back to you guys when it is done. Okay everyone, I am back. Um, as you can see, it, um, I have some space I can clear up. Um, so you just hit red cleaner. Um, now it'll ask you if you want to permanently, um, delete and stuff. I check this, bo this box, do not um, you know, just play this message again, and hit OK, and what it'll do is it'll clean all of the, all of, you know, your cookies and your temporary files that slows down your computer, um, and they'll actually make your computer run faster, um, so yeah. Another tip, um, that I'll show you guys in a bit. Now, if you go into the registry, have all these checked, they'll be checked by default. And just hit scan. And what this will do, let me maximize this. What this will do is it'll go, it'll go through your computer and go through your registry and just find stuff in your registry that's not in your computer. Um, like, as you can see, I got some files, um, and still some coming in. Um, 
yeah, um, so we'll just wait for that to do its thing. As you can see, these are all the registry files um, for programs that I don't have installed on my computer or stuff I deleted. Like, uh, the access DLL, no, the access lib file, no, mission studio DLLs, um, unused extensions, um, invalid default icon, um, active x slash com issue, unused registry edit, application path issues, invalid firewall rule, obscene software key, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Hit, hit, uh, fix selected issue. Well, I ask you going back to the, um, registry, you can. I just hit no. Um, then you hit fix selected issues, so it'll fix all of them. And usually, um, usually you want to do this total of three times. Um, the only reason why you want to do it a total of three times is you really want to make sure you clean the registry very well. Um, I've had problem, I've had, um, pro I've, I've always been told to do stuff period of three times, so yeah. Um, another thing to clean up your internet, uh, I mean clean up, like, make your computer run faster. Um, it's actually a trick, um, in, this is even in Windows 7, you know, so if anyone has Windows 7, they can do the same with that thing. Um, but go to the, um, again, sorry about the lag, everyone, I truly am. Um, usually, usually it doesn't find any more after the second scan, so yeah, you can, just can exit that. And this will come up, it's monitoring your computer and it'll let you know when you can clean your computer for optimal use and everything. It actually works pretty well. Um, so yeah. Again, sorry about the slowness. Um, I'm going to pause this, come back when this comes up. Okay, um, I'm back. Um, now, what you do is you click on what says Wi-Fi and whatever your, um, thing is, um, it'll say, even on Windows 7, it'll say connection and then it'll have whatever the name of your router is. Mine's called back off my wireless. Um, what you do is you want to first go into details and you want to, you want to, um, find your, um, your default gateway, this is your default gateway right here, okay, that is very, very, very important, you want to know your default gateway, and also, I'm truly sorry about the slowness, you guys, truly am, but, you guys continue watching this video, I appreciate it, um, um, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, yeah, so we'll just, I just load, load on up, but again, sorry about slowness, but, yeah, okay, plus I don't feel like, um, wiping my cards out again. Okay. Okay. You also want to find um your um DNS. 
Um, like, for example. Okay, for example. Okay. Um, as you can see right here, my DNS is 757.76.76 then 75.75. Okay. Um, to make it easier, this is what I do. Um, if you can, I don't think you can, I'm probably going to allow you to do that. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Hit copy. Go in here. Go back in here. Okay. Make sure you remember that, um, whatever your DN, whatever your, um, gateway is. Go into properties of this menu. You come up with this menu, make sure you make sure you hit up properties. Again, I sure wasn't sorry about the slowness. Give a pause and come back when it's up. Okay, I am back. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to where it says. Let me make some of my head. You go to where it says Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP slash IPv4. Then I'm prop. Click. Make sure it's highlighted. Then I'm properties. Now, under, under, on the IP address, you want to type in, um, your IP address, what IP address you want. You're making a static IP. Like, for example, mine's 192.168.2.1.1. Okay. Um, so that let's do 27. You know, yours can be whatever between the range of, um, 1 to 255, I believe it is. Now, um, you want to make sure that says 255.255.255.0. Now, the default gateway, like I said, you want to make sure you remember 192.168.2.1. That's your default gateway. Now, under here, you hit paste. Okay, that's the, that's the first DNS. Okay. Now, this is your second DNS right here. Okay, because you have two DNSs. You have an alternate and you have your main DNS. And this will actually speed up your computer because it's not constantly looking for an IP address all the time. Um, if you don't have your computer connected to LAN, which I don't, um, I could, but I'm not going to at the moment. Might later, but I haven't decided yet. But you hit OK. Then on this menu, hit close. You hit close again. And if you did it correctly, I don't know why my wireless is, why it's not coming up like it's supposed to. But if you did it correctly, um, that is actually how you, you can, oh there it is. Um, this is actually my, I'll back up my wireless, um, you know, so, yeah. Um, sorry about the slowness, um, like I said, it's new with him, it's only a one gigahertz processor, I could go Linux, but like I said, I don't feel like swapping out, I mean, um, you know, you're to my job again, um, if I can, I'm gonna try to get my 500 gig back up and going, um, possibly put out on it. Um, I really like ours, um, but yeah, um, sorry about the 
like I said, sorry about the storm with you guys, I truly am. I don't know why it seems so lifted and low as hell. Sorry about that, a little late trip, but yeah, um, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on, and Jeff, um, I know you're not going to be making any more videos, but, um, the videos you have made, um, before you took them off, really helped me out, um, I appreciate all the work you've done, um, you really helped me as a, um, you really helped me get used to Linux and how to work things out and all that. So, again, I appreciate that, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Y'all take care. Peace.